Good evening and welcome to Compline this evening. My name is Cooper Conway and I am the priest in charge at the Episcopal Churches in Ossining. I would like to begin this evening's prayer by asking you to take a moment with me to still and center yourself to remember something for which you are grateful and offer a prayer of gratitude to God. Amen. And now we will begin the service of Compline on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And now in silence, let us confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant you forgiveness of all your sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And now we turn to page 129 for Psalm, one, for Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We will now, um, I will now read something to you from the Hebrew scripture, actually, from the book of Genesis. And this is from the, the message. It's a modern transliteration of um, the Bible. God told Abram, Leave your country, your family, and your father's home for a land I will show you. I'll make you a great nation and bless you. I'll make you famous. You'll be a blessing. I'll bless those who bless you. Those who curse you, I'll curse. All the families of the earth will be blessed through you. So Abram left, just as God had said. You know, this is a story of trust. And uh, as I walk through life, I have come to realize how very valuable trust is, how it takes time to build trust, and how once we have built it, it benefits those who trust and those who rely on trust. And then the whole thing gets swapped around and those who rely on trust become those who trust. So, um, in this time, when things have been so scattered and different and 
strange for us. I would ask that each one of us practice trust, not in a foolhardy way, but starting small with somebody whom we know we can trust, and then maybe taking a little risk, and then maybe making sure that when somebody is taking a little risk with us, we can be trustworthy for them. So, I'm reading to you again uh, a prayer from uh, Frank Topping's book of prayers. And this one is actually another reading from scripture. It's Exodus 15, 2 through 18, 2 and 18. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. This is my God and I will praise him my Father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord will reign forever and ever. A good place to put our trust. And now we return to page 132 to the prayers. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And now let me read to you the names of those who have asked our prayers this night. For Michael, Hermann, Chris, Nora, Charles, Curtis, Sue, Jean and family, Charmaine, Jim, Marty, Janet, Rachel, Rebecca, Tess, Rebecca, Karen, the Camp family, Melanie, Tina, Carla, Steve, Rick, the Padovani family, Dawn, and St. Andrews of the Valley. We pray also for our essential workers, for Holly, Ray, Alfreda, Jan, Alexis, Todd, Peter, Dina, Steve, Graham, Tenku, Pablo, Marco, Anthony, and Bill. And we pray for those who have died. Regina Flynn, Eric Echevarria, um, Bill Hurwitz, Louise Zakheim, Joseph Liga, Iva Barnes, Jeffrey Barnes, Bob Irving, Robert Klaus, Nicholas Klaus, Ruth Klaus, Alice Louise Cameron, Mildred and Andrew Hall, Ethel Hamilton, Inez Dorenberg, and Julian Lewis, and Louise Parker. And now returning to our prayers, let us say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by night as by day your people may glorify your holy name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. Give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. 
soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you and keep you.